What's going on everyone? My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. Now this is video six of our Becoming Your Own Banker series where we cover this book by Mr. R. Nelson Nash, Becoming Your Own Banker. And we are still addressing one of the sections in Nelson's book where he talks about the problem. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about the problem in America when it comes to money. And we want to actually break down the American dream. Because I know for Darius and I, we were all about the American dream, the white picket fences, getting, having education, having corporate jobs, you know, doing that whole thing. And little did we know we were just becoming a part of the matrix. <laughs> Not to be negative, but just to shed light on actually what's happening. Because if you think about it, we're all being led as consumers to continue making purchases, to continue to spend money, and continue to pay interest. Mm -hmm. And none of that is lining our pockets. It's lining someone else's pockets. So we just want to expose this uh, information so that you are now aware of what's going on and so you can be aware of your spending. Uh, so Nelson talks about mortgages in the problem section and mm -hmm. we actually want to break that out on a computer so that you can see what it looks like. Yeah, what we're going to do is use the exact same uh, example. Um, he talks about it in the, the, con the content of this, but we want to illustrate it so that maybe it, it makes you think about it a little differently. So I'm going to just switch my computer screen. Yeah, because the, the, when you think about it, as consumers, whenever we get a loan, uh, we always look at the minimum payment. Mm -hmm. We're thinking, oh great, 500 bucks a month, that's exactly, that meets my budget. That's exactly what I was looking for. But, and then we go, oh, it's 4%, that's low. Mm -hmm. But we don't think about the volume of interest that we're paying over time. So 4%, for example, on a 30 year fixed rate mortgage, that's a lot of interest that you're paying over time. Although that minimum payment looks sweet, <laughs> it may not look great come 30 years from now. So Darius is gonna show you what that looks like on the computer. Before we get into this example, I really wanna share with you this quote. I really like it. Education costs money, but then so does ignorance. As we go through this, think about this and how it relates to some of the things that you're just learning about when it comes to finance and maybe infinite banking. Nelson starts this example by giving an example of what happens when you go to a doctor's office? You get a shot and he says that the volume of the injection is really what makes the difference. Not enough, it won't do anything and too much will kill you. The same thing works when it comes to the volume of interest. The volume of interest is the real issue, not the annual percentage rate. And he gives an example of a young man who's 29 years old, He his salary is $28,500. Well, this young man qualifies for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage at 7% interest for $93,000. His mortgage is $618.75 with closing costs of $2,500. For the first five years, the first 60 months of making those mortgage payments, he has come out of pocket $39,625. Now you would think that, let's say that $40,000, a lot of it will go towards interest, but because of the volume of interest, only $5,000, $5,458 reduce the principal. So if we subtract $5,458 from $39,625, the total cost of financing was $34,167. That's a little over a third of the cost of the house that went towards interest in the first five years. 86% of every dollar went into financing this mortgage for this gentleman. And the reason why Nelson used five years is because the average person moves every five to seven years. So every five to seven years, the average person starts over and 86% of their income goes into financing the mortgage payment, the mortgage company towards interest. And again, the point that Nelson's trying to drive home here is the volume of interest is the real corporate. On paper, it's saying that he's paying 7% annual, annual percentage rate, but looking at the first five years, 
86% of every dollar that he put into this went towards interest payments. Nelson only did the first five to seven years, but I want to take this out to 30 years to say that this gentleman stayed here the entire time. He would have come out of pocket $222,742 for a $93,000 house, which means that $129,000 or $130,000 went to interest payments only. So when it comes to the interest rates that you are currently paying, take a look and take a look at them and see the actual volume. Because the longer you stretch a payment out over, the more money you spending in interest. So be so be very aware of this. When it comes to infinite banking, let's say this gentleman was practicing infinite banking and he financed his mortgage himself. All this would have been profit that he would have paid to himself over these 30 years and he still had the house to sell. When it comes to infinite banking, really rethink what you think you know about finance. And put yourself in a position to earn that money you would have given away to the banks or the mortgage company or the car company. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch our video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new videos. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. And remember, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.